Hey guys, how's it going? Don Dan here. Today I'm back with something a little bit different, a little bit special. This is Arena 3D. It's a indie game, arcade game, created by my friend Mike Bushell, uh, MB2Ed Media. Um, he, this is his very first game he's ever created. This is done with Unity. Um, and he's had it on various platforms such as Steam, IndieDB, uh, promoting it. And today is finally the day when Beta Access comes about and he very kindly gave me a beta key to give this a go. Now, I first came about Mike when he was racing the British Touring Car Championship and the Renault Clio Cup. Um, little did I know that he was going to be developing this game. Now, as you can see, this is the main menu that you'll be getting. Uh, in the background you've got space, stars, everything, so this kind of gives you a bit of a look of what this game is going to be about. So at the minute we've got settings, dock isn't around yet, the settings just has the video controls, audio, uh, single player which will be going into a little bit more, multiplayer which is coming soon, and medals. The medals is quite nice actually, this, this shows you um, just what you've unlocked. I've played this a little bit so at the minute I've done the first level and tried the second level which You'll see in a little while, uh, but first let's go into the single player mode. So as you can see, incredibly gorgeous, very spacey, very spacey, um, very gorgeous as well. At the minute we've got one, two, three, four, five levels which have been able to play and many more which as you can see are still in development. This is the beta sector, uh, I think it looks a pretty cool name to give it actually. And first of all, we're going to go into Komarakai, which um, is an exosphere, which is, as you'll see in a minute, is something beautiful. Now each level has three stars, each of them, when you've done all three of them, will allow you onto the next level. So at the minute I've only done this, um, and the second level I've only got one star at. So let's give this a go, shall we? Uh, show you what this is a little bit about. Now, this has been developed by Mike now for, I think it's over a year now this has been going on. Um, and as you can see, this is your typical arcade looking game. You've got your yeah, destroying your little enemies here, going around, collecting your fragments, which look absolutely awesome as well. And you've got different kind of enemies, so each one gives out a different amount of points and a different amount of fragments. Um, they don't all give out exactly the same. And the really cool thing is that these bullets travel. Now please forgive my terrible gameplay while I'm talking to you guys. Um, I have done better than this. Um, and I've managed to get through a whole round without getting destroyed. So another important feature of the game is the lives. So you won't run out of lives. That's impossible to get run out of. You can't run out of lives. But basically every kind of enemy gives you different fragments, has different abilities, has different kind of attributes. As you can see these little blue guys are ones that chase you around. These are the problematic guys. These are the ones I hate the most. Um, not, not hate them because of what kind of enemy they are. They're an awesome enemy. But they are a big pain in the ass, especially when you want to be getting as many points as possible. So here we go. They're chasing me now. All you have to do is use the right stick just to destroy them. It's quite a cool feature. I mean, it's really simple to use. There's nothing difficult about this game at all. This is definitely the kind of game that I'd be wanting to play if I either didn't have the time to play or didn't have the patience to play a proper simulator game. So this is definitely a game worth looking into for sure um, even if you just like an arcade aspect to it and even if you don't this this could definitely be something which could keep you busy and uh, be good for when you're stressed have a lot of work on have a little bit of spare time just want to chill out relax and play something a little bit different and something that's not so serious especially me used to playing simulators this is something a little bit different uh, and something that really is really enjoyable I must admit this is awesome so far and graphically well just look at it I'm getting a hundred plus frames graphics are awesome on ultra settings of course this is quite the stunning game to look at now it's all about getting these points so the more points you can get the better here try my best to get these little spheres get these little fragments around this sphere destroy as many enemies as I can 
Now, we've yet to have these. Here they come, here they come. So these little purple dudes, these little purple dudes will evade you. They will evade all of your bullets for all they're worth. And it's impossible sometimes to catch them out. Um, especially when you've got so many on you, like that. As you can tell, that wasn't my best run. Uh, 894,000... Yeah, 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 that's about right. Um, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Very intense. Uh, for a quick short period of time for three minutes, it's definitely something that will keep your mind busy and active. Now, the next level, Degna, is something a little different. Just a little bit different. So we have... Here we go. There we go. Try and find Degna. Here's Degna. So Degna... It holds the key to everything else, really. Degna... Is a very, very difficult. It's not really what you call an easy game. Increased speed. I've never seen that one before. But it's definitely something that will tackle you and uh, be something incredibly difficult. So let's give this a go. So Degna's a maze. Effectively, it's a maze. And the maze is in darkness, and you have a light shield and a cloak. Now, the cloak is there to help you move around in the darkness and help you to see what you're doing. Now, each of these little... No, I'm not going to be able to get this one because it's, it's proving a little bit difficult. Oh, no, I should be able to get there just in time. There we go. Each of these little things gives you extra time um, and it's helpful to know your way around the maze. If you don't know your way around the maze, it, it could be a little bit tricky. And this is where cloaking feature comes in handy. So I'm going to put my cloak on and I'm going to get around this corner and he's not going to be able to see me until the fact I decide to go completely the wrong way and completely screw up and now he's going to be chasing me. Now the longer you get chased, the more of them that will appear. And they can appear at any given time, so you might not be able to know when they are turning up. And sometimes it's important just to keep moving. Now you get half a minute of cloak in every single level. Ah, I couldn't quite get it. It gets really difficult, see? You only have just over a minute to get every single... Well, you get a minute to start with for your fragments, and you get 20 seconds per fragment and a points, depending on how long it takes you to go and get them. Every time you have three or more little enemies on you at one point, you get points as well. So it's important to make sure that you keep moving and that you don't let them sucker you in because the more time you spend worrying about these little dudes the less time you're going to have to spend getting these now the music in this game as you can hear is pretty darn awesome i'm not going to lie the music is definitely a very fitting attribute i'm not going to be able to get this one i don't think i think i'm too far away at the minute um worrying too much about how the hell I'm going to get over there which uh, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do nope, it's there it's over here, come on, come on, come on just about got it, okay the music is very fitting very spacey, gloomy dark, eerie everything you really want from this I mean, I wouldn't call this a horror as such but it's definitely more of a stealth fighting game um, in terms of that there. New high score apparently. I'm not quite sure how, but we did it. I'm still nowhere near a million, and I'm certainly never going to collect the 12 fragments. We'll give this one more go anyway. We'll see what we can do. So, we always start in the same position, but these little 
fragments will position themselves randomly every time, so they're a completely different spawn point. You'll never get the same spawn twice. Not in the same game anyway. And everyone's game will be individual, completely different. No one will ever have the same experience, which I think is important for a game like this. You don't want to be having the same experience as someone else, that's for certain. It just makes the game boring. So, oh, here we go. Get chased already. Oh, there's two of them. Jeez. Finding where this next little fragment's going to be could be quite difficult. Oh, this could be a need for cloaking. Yep. Now, the best thing about having this little guy with me is the fact that he emits light. The bad thing is, he's pretty quick. And he'll know his way around the map better than I do. So, for me, this is not necessarily a good thing. And at the minute, I have absolutely zero idea where this is. I think it's around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm just going around in circles at the minute. I don't want to be cloaking forever, that's for certain. Uh, the more I cloak, the more chance is that he's going to catch me. So that's where I began, effectively. I'm back again already. And so far, I've managed to get myself lost twice. And I'm now nowhere near where I need to be. And I am not going to be able to get any further. <laughs> so, as you see, it's... It's a difficult game. I've only got through these two levels. I will have to make more videos when I finally pass this level. This is going to be quite difficult, I will admit. Uh, this is going to be something that's going to take a little while to adjust and get used to. But when I do, I'll be sure to come back with another video and go through them levels. So this is just a first look at Arena 3D. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited by this game. Game plays really well. Uh, loads of features that I really enjoy um, and loads of things that I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the full game so thank you for this video thank you to Mike for giving me the access to this game really enjoying it so far I'll link down Mike's Arena 3D page for Steam his Facebook page for Arena 3D and his Indie DB page for you to see give it to check it out please 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 add it to your wishes if you like it this game is going to be awesome I'm sure that he's going to enjoy seeing all your comments if you do like it. I will too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, remember to give us a subscribe if you're brand new. This is Don Dan. See you in the next video. Peace.